Hello 302 family. So we are continuing to talk about the setup for the remote learning and the binder system that we are putting together. So we've talked already about the morning meeting, which is our first thing we'll do in the morning. And then we've just spoken about the phonics folder or binder, I should say. Now we're gonna go on to our writing binder. So I'm using my daughter Isla's as an example because she and I have started this uh, writing workshop program together this summer. And so I wanna walk you through what I'd like for you to have at home. Um, so all of these printouts that I have been showing you for the last few binders are all gonna be available on the um, class Google Classroom um, for you to print out yourself. As I had mentioned previously, if you don't have access to a printer or a color printer, um, they don't necessarily all have to be in color, um, just let me know and I can print them out and make a packet. If making these binders seems too overwhelming, then when we have our one-on-one -on -one conference before school starts, let's have a chat about that and I um, would absolutely be supportive in putting these together for families. Um, so let's talk about what that looks like. But if you're wanting to do it on your own, then let's talk about what the writing binder is going to look like. So in the writing binder, obviously we've got our front page. In here, the, we've got our pencil pouch where you need to have um, your markers, markers and or crayons pencil, pencil sharpener all right here so that when, we, when we're doing writer's workshop and writing, we can just pull this out and we've got everything in here. Now, I'd like for you to have a two-sided pocket um, folder. This one has it on the front and back. Sometimes you can put them in and they open up because we've got still working on side and then we've got all done finished. So you will need a two pocket, two pockets, doesn't matter if it's two individual pockets, one that's front back like this, or if it's one that goes in that opens up. Then you're also gonna need sheet protectors like this because we're gonna have some writing tools. So for instance, um, Isla's writing tools right now, we've got all of our, um, our consonants and our short vowels. This is um, what she uses. And then she's got her list of sight words that she is learning or has learned. Um, so as that our, as those rules come up, um, two, we will also have any of our spelling rules that we're working on in the back, similarly to what we had written in, sorry, I'll show it. We've got some of those in our phonics books right here. So like, for instance, if we're working on our H friends, or if we're working on, let's see, what's another one we've got, um, the floss rule, or if we're working on CH versus TCH, those pieces will be in our writing folder for easy access. So we'll have them both in our phonics folder and our writing folder. Um, important to have them in both because our schedule might kind of shift during the day, writing might come down after math, um, just depending on how our students are feeling. So we wanna make sure that we have everything in our binders that are applicable to that, um, that day. And then the last thing would be, um, if your binder already has a pocket in it, then no worries, but we're gonna to wanna to have our writer's workshop um, template. Templates are gonna look different for different students. Isla's at a beginning level, and so she has a bigger box for picture versus writing. For our more advanced writers, um, they're gonna have a very small picture box, if sometimes not any picture box at all if they're into paragraph writing and things like that. So you'll just either need to have um, in the back your blank ones or um, another folder for those. So this is our writing binder. And as I said, um, all of these printouts are gonna be on our Google Classroom. Um, and then we will um, we'll be using this folder every day in our remote learning along this binder and at school. So everything that we're developing um, now will also be coming to school when we return back in person. Okay, um, I'll pause this video and go on to the mathematics one and then we'll continue from there. See you soon.